Learning the blues can be one of the most rewarding things you do on guitar because it's immediately recognizable and it's also a ton of fun to play. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to play the blues in any key using just this dead simple riff that has four notes in it. Let's dive straight in. So the first part we're gonna play is this riff based on the note G here. So we're gonna play the third fret of the low E string with a down pluck. And we're gonna play all down plucks for this riff. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the fifth fret on the fourth string. Okay, another down pluck. And then we'll go to the third fret and then we'll play the fifth fret on the fifth string. So those are the four notes. So it's one, two, three, four. So that's the riff. Now, as I said, this is based on the note G. Now, one of the cool things about this riff is it doesn't have any open strings. So that means we can actually move this around the neck and get the same results by playing that same configuration. So let me show you what I mean. If we take that riff and we shift it down one string, so instead of starting on the third fret of the low E, now we're gonna start on the third fret of the A string. This is the note C. And I can do that same movement, so then I can go to the fifth fret on the third string, third fret on the third string, then fifth fret on the fourth string, I have now the riff based on the note C. So we've got it based on G, we've got it based on C. Now there's one more move we're gonna make to put this all together. We're gonna slide that up from the third fret to the fifth fret, okay? This is the fifth fret on the A string. Then we'll go to seven on the third string, five, then seven on the fourth string. So now I've got it based on this note, which is the note D. So just to review, I've got G, C, and then D. Now those are what we call the one, four, and five in the key of G. Now don't worry about that for right now, just know that it's the same thing in different places on the neck. Now one other comment you may have noticed that I'm using my pinky here. You can use your ring finger if that's easier for you. If you just want to think one finger per fret, that's fine. I just find it a little bit more comfortable for me to use the pinky. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into a 12 bar blues. So we're gonna use those three different riffs, the riff based on G, based on C, and based on D. Now if we're gonna play a 12 bar blues, we have to follow a specific pattern. And it's gonna go like this. It's gonna go four times on the G. Then we're gonna go two times on the C, then back to two times on the G. Then we'll go one time on the D, one time on the C, and then back to two times on the G. And that's gonna be our entire 12 bar blues. So let's try it together. Again, steady quarter notes with the strum hand just going one, two, three, four. Get set and I'll count us in. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. G. I'm gonna do this four times. Two times here, and back to G. Then D, C, G. And on G. So that's how you play the blues, and you can use this pattern in any key. You just move it up and down the neck. So if I wanted to say, do it in the key of A, then I would just start here on A, and I could do every fret. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, 
one. Now I'm at a F again. So the same pattern can work up and down the entire neck. So practice that pattern. And if you really want to start working out this stuff so you can play along with your favorite records or start playing solos on top of the blues, then you're going to want to grab my free blues scale PDF guide. And you can get this by going to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales or click the first link down below. It's completely for free. And this is going to show you the five patterns that I use to play the blues scale up and down the neck. It's just just like a simple pattern like this, these little things can really unlock your playing and help you go to the next level. So hope you enjoy that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching and for more blues guitar, check out this video next.